Tesla have just begun selling the new Powerwall 3, which is good because it's quite a bit better than the Powerwall 2. But Tesla say, actually, they're working on an even better version of the new Powerwall 3. So by the time this new Powerwall 3 actually is available in whatever area you're in, state, country, whatever, it should be the new upgraded version. Now, that's pretty cool. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching the Electric Viking. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, it's uh, exactly 4.38 a.m. here in Newcastle in Australia. But you know what? Stuff's happening, guys. You, you need to know about this stuff. Tesla has released more details on Powerwall 3. Uh, there's a new cheaper stack coming. Electric has just reported on this. So rather than uh, me sound like a, a moron, I'm going to report on what they have said. I'm going to tell you, you know, what I think about this story. Tesla's released more details about the new Powerwall 3. Now, apparently there has been some Powerwall 3 installations already in the United States. And Tesla has been determining, um, based on what people are doing, whether, they, whether or not they should probably be best for them to get the new Powerwall 3 or best for them to stick with the Powerwall 2, which is obviously cheaper. The biggest difference between Powerwall 3 versus 2 is it has a higher power output of 11.5 kilowatt, but also the other big difference is the peak power output is 30 kilowatt. Now, the size of the battery pack is, it's not all that, that's not really the, the big difference here. It's the ability for the battery pack to put out huge amounts of power at one time. So let's say the power goes out in your house, right? Well, if you need more than, you know, about 11.5 kilowatt in power at one time, you need more than one power wall. Or you can only run a smaller number of devices or a smaller number of things in your house. So the solution here for Tesla is saying, get the power wall three in that situation, then you only need one battery because you probably only need battery backup for, you know, a few hours until power is restored in most cases. Tesla wants to continue basically using, well, they're currently continuing using Powerwall 2 Plus and Powerwall 3 based on what makes the most sense for each individual use case. But there are some improvements coming to the Powerwall 3. Tesla apparently are working on a few more things enabled by Powerwall 3 technology. Now, this is what Electric's saying. Tesla produced a webinar for its installers on Powerwall 3 um, revealing the details. Now, one of the things about Powerwall 3 is it does have an integrated inverter. That's a huge advantage. Now, the power and load capacity, of course, is the biggest upgrade, but the, the integrated inverter also is pretty impressive. Most Powerwall 2 installations involve more than one unit, they say, but that has more to do with the power limitations. They, I don't think that's true. That's what Electric is claiming. I, I think actually most installations are more than one unit simply because that person in that house decides they need more storage. They want to have their batteries last for longer. And there's a lot of off-grid installations now as well. Either way, with the same 13.5 kilowatt hour energy capacity, a single Powerwall 3 can power an average household for hours. So the Powerwall 3, the reason it can power one household better is just because of that peak power output being so much higher. But it won't necessarily last any longer than a Powerwall 2. For those who need more energy capacity, Powerwall 3, though, is going to be easier and cheaper to stack than Powerwall 2 was. Tesla says it's working on a new version of Powerwall 3 without a power inverter component to stack with the full Powerwall 3. So there'll be two versions, essentially, of the Powerwall 3, the one with the inverter and the one without it. So there'll be a cheaper version, which you just use to stack. The new capacity means that you can combine four Powerwall 3s together for a power capacity of 46 kilowatt and energy capacity of 54 kilowatt hours. However, with the new upcoming stackable units um, that don't have a power inverter, which Tesla calls DC expansion, you can do a different configuration focused on adding more energy capacity. A single Now, if you combine one full power wall and three DC expansions, you could have a continuous power capacity of 11.5 kilowatt and an energy capacity of 54 kilowatt hours. So the upcoming DC expansion unit, which is this different power wall three or the cheaper power wall three, 
will be $1,000 cheaper than a Powerwall 3, which is listed at 9,300 before incentives. Uh, this is kind of a good idea, guys. What, what this basically means is in pretty much every situation where someone wants more than one Powerwall, the second Powerwall is gonna be cheaper. So the first one you're gonna pay the, you're gonna pay 9,300, that's gonna have your inverter in it. Then the other ones are gonna be just expansion units and they're gonna be $8,300 each. So let's say you wanted three power walls, instead of paying 9,300, 9,300, 9,300, you're gonna be paying 9,300, 8,300, 8,300. So this is Tesla's kind of way of making the system make more financial sense for people. And I think it's a really good idea. It makes complete sense. The other thing Tesla mentioned is that Powerwall 3 does use lithium ion phosphate battery cells. So theoretically, you should get twice as many cycles with these, new, with these lithium ion phosphate cells, which is supplied by CATL, and that would mean the battery pack should last twice as long. Now, that won't necessarily happen in every environment. The other thing is that um, you know, Tesla's ternary batteries, their traditional lithium batteries, actually last incredibly long. We've seen a lot of Tesla's battery packs these days getting over 500,000 miles on, the, on a single pack with still more life to go. So the old packs are actually really good, but the new ones really should give you quite a bit more life. I'd say a few, a few years more in terms of its life cycle. So really kind of a nice upgrade here. You're getting really a better cell chemistry and the option of stacking the batteries at a lower price plus that integrated inverter. That's my takeaway. Let me know if I got something wrong there or if you think you have any sort of opinions on what Tesla's doing here. Let me know guys in the comments. Thank you for watching.